Once you've finished sanding, you can begin to remove the 3D print from the raft. To do this, you can simply push the 3D print forward with your hands and take each piece off of the raft. If you're having trouble, you can also use some pliers. Pliers can help to remove the raft from the 3D print by pulling each piece free. Once you've pulled apart the raft from each piece in our jewelry design, they will look something like this. Now we are ready to begin painting. I'm using very basic, non-toxic glitter paint. we have painted our pieces for our 3D printed Valentine jewelry craft, we can begin the assembly process. So as you can see here, we have um, the first earring that we have printed with the 3D printer. We have sanded and painted, and now we are at the assembly stage. So we're going to take our three 3D printed painted jewelry pieces. So we've got the large size, which I'm holding right now. So our big heart. And then we are going to take our heart shell. So it's just the outline of the heart. And then we are going to take the um, third piece, which is the little heart. Here it is. And so this is the last one we are going to assemble. So we're going to assemble it in order like this. So in order to assemble our jewelry to make earrings, we are going to use something called jump rings. So here you have jump rings. So I'm just using some gold ones. Uh, you can use whichever kind you find um, most amenable to whatever you want your jewelry piece to look like. You might already have some at home. And we're also going to use an earring hook. Here we have an earring hook. So any earring hook will do. Again, I'm using a gold-plated earring hook for this project. So in order to assemble our earring, uh, each piece is going to be connected with one of these jump rings. And we are going to put the earring hook at the top. And in order to make it all come together, I'm going to use something called needle nose pliers. So these are special small pliers um, that are 
usually use for fine detail like jewelry making. You can use any pliers that you might have at home for this project since it is quite basic. Uh, you, don't, you don't need anything very fancy to assemble our earring. And then you just need something else. Um, so some other pliers, these are actually cutters, but I'm also just going to use them um, to hold the um, jewelry in place while we open and close um, each piece to assemble the jump rings onto our earring. So um, yeah, any kind of um, uh, pliers, cutters, something that's, that's able to grasp the metal that you can hold onto and um, help you to assemble our jewelry piece. So with all these things, we can now begin the assembly process. So first, we are going to take our large part. Here we've got it. And we are going to um, put on our first jump ring. So we'll save the earring hook for last. And we're just going to open our jump ring and um, put it onto the bottom hole of the large heart. So we're gonna put it right here. So to do that, we're going to take our pliers and hold onto it like this. And then we are going to take our cutters and we are going to hold onto it at the same time. And we're just going to find that opening at the top and we are going to open the jump ring up so that we are able to you can see it how I've opened it so that we are able to put it onto the bottom of our big heart so we're going to take our big heart we're going to take our jump ring and we are just going to put it through the big heart. And once we've got it through the big heart like this, we are going to take our pliers again and close the jump ring. Actually, not quite, not quite yet, actually. We are going to um, attach it to the um, shell heart. So we're gonna Put it through the bottom of our big heart and we are going to put it through the top of our shell heart. So you see that there? We've got the jump ring. It's through the bottom of the big heart going through the top of the shell heart or the medium size heart. And now we are going to close it up using the same method of holding the both sides with our pliers and pulling it tight, shut. So we're shutting it and there we go. So here we have our big heart and our shell heart that is now attached. So we've, we've shut the jump ring so that it looks completely even and you're not able to see that we just opened and closed it. So that's how we attach our medium heart to the big heart. So we're gonna do the same thing with the little heart and then we'll be ready to put on our earring finding hook.
So now that we've assembled the main portion of the earring, we are going to add the earring hook. Now, one thing that I wanted to mention that I didn't mention earlier was after painting, you might need to uh, pop the holes out of the uh, 3D object. Um, so by painting, you might have blocked the holes. And so you can just easily pop the paint out of the holes to assemble our earring by simply sticking your pliers through the holes like this and going back and forth until you're able to remove the paint and can use the holes to assemble the earring craft. Now the next step will be our last step, which is so exciting, which is to add the earring hook. So first we are going to open the earring hook by taking our pliers and holding the hook with our hand. Um, so just two fingers on the other side and we can just easily open the bottom of the hook where we attach it to the rest of the earring by bending it outwards so that it opens up and we're able to um, attach it. So if we just go like this, we're able to attach it to our earring and um, you'll want to make sure um, that you have it facing the way that you want it to. So I'm going to put my earring going this way. The, so it's going into my ear and the earring is facing outright. So I want my earring to face this way. So I'm putting the hook on facing the opposite direction. So the earring hook is facing me and the rest of the earring will be what is facing out and what you will see. And then we're just going to take our pliers and we're going to hold the rest of the earring hook with our fingers and we're just going to bend that earring hook that we opened. We're now going to close it with the pliers. And you're gonna try and not make any sounds like I just did you'll just want to gently bend it back into the correct closed position. And then once you've closed it, you'll want to make sure that it's bendable and that we're able to move it and be able to put it through our ear. So, here we have got our assembled earrings with the earring hook. Very exciting. I want to thank you for joining me with our Creativity Commons 3D printed heart earring for Valentine's Day. So it's been really fun to share this craft with you. This is something that we can print for you and you can do this craft at home by painting your own Valentine earrings. <laughs>